and to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. John the Baptist said, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth upon him. And that wrath of God is hell. The wages of sin is death. We're going to die. And yet death is not the final lap. You can go off into victory lane with Jesus Christ. Or you can crash and burn and end up in hell when the checkered flag of your life ends. We have a life and death is expected. The wages of sin is death. And the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And no, don't say you're good. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. Don't lie against the scriptures. And we fall short. And the shortness that we need to get to the Father is the one that said, Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And so access to God the Father by the one that says, I am the way. Disregard church. Disregard baptism. Disregard anything you can do because there's nothing you can do to save yourself and that which has already been done by Jesus. You see, Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now check your local graveyards. There's no one coming out as of yet. No pope has come out of that grave. No preacher or preacher has come out of that grave. Only Jesus Christ, the victory, as it said in the scriptures. And wait to, from his son, from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. But not without the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no name given among men whereby you must be saved. It is fine that you know the name of these drivers. But do you know the name and the person of Jesus Christ? Matter of fact, are you known in heaven? Is your name recorded in the last book of life, of eternal life? Through Jesus Christ and only by Jesus Christ is a man able to be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The wages of sin is death, the Bible says. That's the finish line. But it's not finished. A victory lap is through Jesus Christ into heaven. Be absent from the body and present with the Lord. But you can finish that final lap, the checkered flag, and crash and burn forever into heaven, into hell. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There's no good expectations. There's no good works. But the Bible says not of works. At least any man boasts. It's not religion. For Jesus said, I am the way. And Paul warns us to the Corinthian church that there is another Jesus. There is a Jesus that's anti-scriptural, and there's a Jesus according to the Word of God. And his gospel is that he suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that's the means to get to heaven. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And when we cross that checkered flag, whether we're into victory, into heaven by Jesus, or we crash and burn into hell by anything but, 
The Bible says the wages of sin is death, and yet the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's the love of God. The love of God is Jesus Christ because there's no other way. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So there is no other way. There is no religion that satisfies God. There is no position in life but that of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to save the lost. Jesus Christ is the only means of salvation to get to heaven. Are you good enough? When the Bible says there is none that doeth good. So if you're going to say you're good, and the Bible says there is none that doeth good, then you're not good enough. God said, be holy for I am holy. But you're not even good according to the scriptures. And for the God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible says, he that has the son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see light. But the wrath of God abides upon him. And if you're not good enough, I don't care if you think you are. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. The fact is that we have to have the righteousness of God. And that righteousness is settled in Jesus Christ. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. The wages of sin is death. And we're all sinners. That's why we're not good enough. For all have sinned. For all have come short of the glory of God. When you come short and you're not good enough, you're not going to make it to heaven outside of Jesus Christ. You will die, as all will do, and you will be buried, hopefully. And the Bible says in Luke 16, without Jesus Christ, you will wake up in hell in torments. And eternal life one day when death comes to be absent from the body. And present with the Lord is to put your faith and in your trust in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. For only Jesus saves. 